So, gonna load up. Because we've got some DLC! Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles 4, everyone. New episode has been added. New extra story has been added. Now, as far as the episode, I have no idea where the hell that's supposed to be. This stream is still going. Come on. There we go. Audio seems fine, but we'll double check it later. If it if the volume seems low in this YouTube video, and I'm only I'm not gonna go very long, I'm just gonna do a couple of DLCs today. Um, I'll adjust it later. But for right now I don't know unless chat tells me. So we're gonna do the first DLC, and we you can already see there's a few other ones here. And a few ones that I really, 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 really want to get into, but let's go to a united front with Squad 7. Extra story. United front with Squad 7. Back to Galia. Is this like the end of the book? Where the hell is this? Interesting. Alright. Let's go. It's weird since I re recorded last, the little icons Bye. moved. 1935. After leaving the city of Rain, we began our march north for the Imperial capital. At least, that was the plan. Midway through, we received a report that the bridge we intended to cross had been destroyed by Imperials. We had no choice but to remain on standby. All we could do was wait for them to repair the bridge. And as we waited, an unexpected order came in. Command wanted us back in Galia. That's a new one. Wow! A Galian forward operating base! It's Galia, man! Just like we remember it! And all it took was a day on a rickety-ass train. Something about the sunlight here, and the breeze. Feels like we're home again. Look at that. The lion's paws are already coming in. But this isn't the peaceful Galia we knew. Wow, way to go, Buzzkill. Now it's a battlefield. Same as back on the front lines. Pardon me. Lieutenant Claude Wallace, I presume. Yes, sir. John Townshend, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Didn't Townshend end up being, like, I don't know, ostracized? I forget. I'll have to go back and see the original Valkyria Chronicles. Because I feel like he got thrown out, but I don't remember I exactly. I appreciate your coming all this way. Trip from the front lines. There was no problem, sir. Galia is our homeland. Even a day's visit is a welcome luxury. But what exactly is our mission here? All we heard was that we'd have further instructions on arrival. Ah, yes. My apologies. Your mission here will be to participate in a joint training exercise. Oh, God. All right. Wait, that's it? So, that's the only reason we were called here. You needn't worry, Lieutenant. Given the circumstances, that's a reasonable reaction. Ordinarily, the Federation wouldn't call an elite squad away from the front lines for something so, uh, trivial. No, that's... I mean... I didn't mean any offense, sir. Keep it quiet for now, but we are currently finalizing an alliance between Galia and the Federation. What? Neutrality has always been Galia's policy. Would they really break that for Federation backing? The Empire seized a great deal of Galian territory. 
Policy means nothing without a nation to uphold it. But with Operation Northern Cross underway, we don't have the soldiers to spare for Galia. Tricky, yes. Both tactically and from a foreign policy standpoint. But Galia is a vital player in this conflict. As such, it is important that we show our support. Resupplying efforts, raising morale in their troops. Raising morale? So, is this the intent of the training exercise? There are quite a few Galian countrymen in Squad E, if I recall. You've won a fair bit of renown here. The militia here is primarily made up of civilians. A visit from national heroes could give them quite a boost. Understood, sir. We'll do everything we can if it'll help protect our homeland. Well said, Lieutenant Wallace. Your Gallian partners in this exercise have made quite a name for themselves. The standouts of the Gallian Militia's 3rd Regiment, Squad 7. Here we go. Oh, personnel got updated. All right, let's go. <laughs> Join exercise. Oh, God. So the rendezvous point's just ahead? Man, why'd they drag us out here for this crap? Joint training with the militia. It sounds like they've been contributing a lot, but still... Everything they're equipped with probably won't match up to Federation standards. Oh god. They don't know. But all the reports say they've done more for the war effort than any of Galia's regular armed forces. They must have an exceptionally skilled commander. Maybe. Sure, whatever. Maybe they're good, but it's not like they're real soldiers. Oh no. Oh god. They don't know, and it hurts. We're the freaking Rangers, aren't we? Why are we stuck on some playdate with civilians? Oh boy. Rosie! Rosie, come gun Say beat that him. again, and I'll show you what a civilian can do. There we go. There she is. Huh? There she is. <laughs> Oh no, this is going to be extra bad because he's also Darkson. Welcome. Oh no. Right. <laughs> Largo and Rosie. Here we go. Welcome. Second Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, leader of the Militia Squad 7. I'm First Lieutenant Claude Wallace, commander of Squad E. A pleasure to meet you. It's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> They swapped out what a few take? voice actors here. Isara's still around. Oh boy. Not so different. Oh boy. older than us. Alicia seems to be on point. I guess we're all around the same age. That's kind of a relief, right, Rosie? <laughs> so they're a bunch of rookies? After all the stuff about an elite squad, I thought they'd be impressive. Rosie's close, so it's hard to say. I feel like she is different, though. I don't know. I am going to look this up later. Because I feel like she's different, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's just she aged a little bit and her voice changed. They've even got a dark hair with them. I guess they've gotten used to the stink. Oh, God. Yep, still the racist. Until that phase left her. You, bitch. 
<laughs> You're supposed to be a ranger? You look like a street punk. You got the mouth to match. Margo. Dude. What the fuck? Don't defend Rosie here. This is not this is not the time. <laughs> I know he's an asshole, but still it's not the time. Oh yeah? Did I ask your opinion, caveman? Raz, would you shut up? Largo, Rosie, that was uncalled for. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you. Uh... We're getting into fights already. I can't believe this. She knows what she said. Forget all that. Look at their tank! Oh, that's something else. Miles? I know. I've used that tank. It's a good tank. I'm not gonna lie. But damn it, man. Is it some new model? No, it can't be. No. It's been restored and upgraded, but that thing's an antique. But this plating and the engineering. This thing's on equal footing with the most advanced tanks out there. The Edelweiss. This is the Edelweiss. It's the personal tank of Squad 7's commander. Isara sounds real different, but I'm... Again, I'm going to check later. Oh, wow. She is gorgeous. Uh, the tank, I mean, the tank's gorgeous. I could say the same for yours. It's easy to see someone's been taking good care of it. Okay, maybe... Oh, God, it is... Oh, okay. thanks. I just do what I can. <laughs> the Hoppin's gotta be in top shape. Half of them are getting along fine, but the other half is at each other's throats. <laughs> I guess both squads have their share of wild cards, huh? Welkin is just way off. That is not Welkin. That is not his voice actor. Oh, uh, my apologies, Lieutenant. You're a superior officer. I meant no disrespect. Don't worry about it, Lieutenant Gunther. Yeah, actually, do you mind if I just go with Welkin? I think we can do without the official ranks. After all, we're both basically squad commanders, right? I'll take you up on that. I'm not used to this kind of formality. I've just been trying not to bite my tongue. He's actually pretty laid back, huh? Yeah, I guess that's part of what makes him welcome. Usually we just get people commenting on how he doesn't seem like the leader type. Oh boy. <laughs> I get the feeling her squads aren't so different after all. I wonder how this is gonna go. I don't even know how this so mission is gonna Edelweiss go. So the Edelweiss used to be General Gunther's personal tank? Durr. Yes. It's one of the more powerful models from the first European War. It survived a lot. That's amazing. Claude, are you hearing this? This belonged to General Gunther himself. General Gunther? Wait a minute, you said your full name was... You already called him Lieutenant Gunther, you idiot. You know. Yeah. Belgian Gunther's my father. That explains a lot, I guess. No wonder you've come this far, even as civilian militia. Well, not exactly. I was only a student until just before the war started. But you went through the mandatory military officer training at the university, right, Welks? Not to mention your battle experience. Remember the last skirmish? Those imps didn't stand a chance. Come on, you two. They're exaggerating, really. Most of our team is made of new got, recruits, and but it I'm not probably a fan. shows. I'm sure we still have a lot to learn. So we're glad to have this chance. It'll be an honor to learn from Squad E. 
don't like your voice actor. I'm sorry, it's just, it's not the same. It's, it's, it is bugging me to no end because it's like, that is not Welkin. That is like some scrub they pulled in just at the last minute. I'd say the honor's ours. It isn't every day we get personally assigned to a special mission. I guess all that's left is to get our training underway. Let's both give it our all. Like, in the game, it's fine. Like, the character in the game, I'm okay with that. It's just the voice actor. I can't... I can't stand it. Because it's like, it's not welcome. Right. Yeah, don't let us down here. We came all this way, so it better be worth it. Raz, come on, but man. hey, I'm not expecting miracles from a backwoods militia. Stay out of my way and we'll be fine. Oh, God. No. Yeah, keep talking, buddy. You're gonna look real stupid when we're running circles around you. You wouldn't believe what we've been through, kid. But we've beaten tougher soldiers than you. Oh, yeah? Here's the thing. I'm invincible. You amateurs got no chance against me. That line, every damn time. Every time he can say it, he will say it, won't he? I'm not against them, you moron. This exercise isn't about fighting them. Let's start with a mock team battle. Remember, coordinate with your allies and minimize casualties. Hope we don't just slow them down. Just do what we always do and we'll be fine. Let's go! Oh god. Oh god. Well, we're finally there. What's the goal? Team building. Tell me the mission. Let's review our mission. Oh, God damn it, Welkin. Couldn't it be Alicia? This will be a joint training exercise against another unit acting as the Imperial forces. Oh, oh, I get to use them. Okay, that's cool. Squad E and Squad Evans, or Squad Seven, will take separate positions, then work together to capture all enemy camps on the field. The key to victory here will be coordinating our two squads quickly and efficiently. I'll be leading Squad Seven. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep up. Enemy occupies your base camp. All LA infantry falls in action. Twenty turns pass. Raz is already out there. I completely forget. Who the hell has their abilities and who doesn't. Um, I still think Zyg is missing his, though. I'll try my hardest. Ferrier. Kai's already out there. Riley's already out there. I can't put any more tanks, which is fine. Get Rosetta's done. All right. Okay, I can only control that one. That's fine. All right. This is a good chance to learn from Squatty. E. All right, let's go. God damn it.
This may be a team exercise, but that doesn't change our plan. Let's do what we always do, as Squad 7. He's trying, but he's just not there. You say that, but I feel more nervous than I do for our actual battles. I guess that's fair. Let's just try to keep up with Squad E. You got it. They want to fight? I'll give them a fight. I've got years on these hot shots. Let's show them what experience is really worth. All right, let's get this show on the road. We'll show them what Rangers can do. Raz, don't overextend yourself. Remember, we have to coordinate with the others. Yeah, yeah, coordinate, whatever. Let's rock! Do I have the ability to control them? I do, actually. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Couple of light tanks. Well, no time like the present. So I can't use them at all. Okay, are they just there as a placeholder? Officer, I will not fall here. I'll go with you. They could be hiding anywhere. Stay alert. Fall in. Got your six. Shot fired. Find some cover. They got me marked. gonna sit around here waiting for the dead weight to get on my level are they suggesting that we're going too fast what's the deal what did you say you two this is a joint exercise we can't afford to deal with infighting come on everyone this is a valuable opportunity for us to watch how squad e watch Yeah, Rosie's Rosie's a little off. Like she's very close, but it seems off. Ah, uh, great. You two really have your work cut out for you. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Still can't do anything. Okay. Red bean. Understood. Incoming. Let's go. Don't let down your enemies incoming. 
Did Take I bring an this. engineer? I didn't, did I? Probably way overpowered for this mission, I'm not gonna lie. I just realized that because this is gonna be like early on in the story. Moving out. Let's get rid of the engineer. One more time, Minerva. Moving out. Here I come. <laughs> How was that? They might be soldiers after all according to plan. Very nice. Federation officer. I will not fall here. Stupid idea of the sentry goes to. Oh. Sorry. Like, I feel so bad about that because holy shit. Oh. Oh, I can't. Oh. Alright. I thought I could get through that. I was wrong. But that is a good idea for the Grenadiers. Okay. I'm going to have a lot of work for the Gate of Vice. It's tough being popular. Oh, they do get a turn. That's cool. The armor is not good on them. Stay cool. The Edelweiss is also super boxy. In this game, at least. You're going to finish it off with Largo, aren't you? You're going to take care of the shock trooper. Please. Yeah, so this is all this is all like planned. Like there's no way for me to get over there at least as far as I can tell. I've been waiting here. Unless he's got a super lance, I don't know. This is going to be weird.
got you covered. Federation I've officer. Got your back. I will not fall here. You might want to study the enemy's deployment. Gatling turret. Shock trooper. Stay close to your squad mates. Here I wish I could do this with a tank. <laughs> How was that? Nice shot. Commencing counterattack. Lieutenant Victor. This is a weird way to get over here, I'm not gonna lie. Keep I didn't see an ace of any kind either. Shock trooper, scout, light tank, engineer, shock trooper, scout. Yeah, just scouts. I don't see anything else. Commencing assault. Calm down. Again, I hope I'm not breaking the game somehow, because I feel like I am. Engaging. Then again, maybe it's just because this is like an early. Nice. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do it that way? I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's the end of the exercise. Yeah, if we'd had better coordination, it probably would have gone faster. Well, in any case, good work, everyone. Let's break until the afternoon. Then, begin the mock battle. So there's a part two to this. I, I'm trying to figure it out. Was there an ace at all? A taste of home. Time limit. We weren't even close. Well, both squads have some uh, unique individuals. Maybe we should have expected this. This isn't good. How do we fix it? You see me out there? Hot stuff, right? I look downright heroic, facing down an enemy army. I don't think I used you once, Raz. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you think you're a hero? That's real funny, dark hair. You just charged in like an idiot. That's not a great face for you. Oh, I'm not taking this crap from you. You call yourself a shock trooper? You got stuck waddling in the back. You got too much junk in that trunk? Maybe that's what's slowing you down. What did you say? You trying to say I'm fat? Hey, just Maybe. saying. Maybe you could have gotten to the front faster if you weren't carrying all that weight. Oh, God. God damn it, Raz. 
Who do you think was covering you when you were charging in? Do you even care? Whoa, but that's how we always do this, right? That's our usual. This isn't our usual. It's a joint exercise, remember? We need to be better coordinated with Squad 7. Ugh, whatever. Get someone else to babysit the dead weight. If they're too scared to advance, then we're screwed. Huh, so we should charge in like you? You'd get us all killed, idiot. I'd rather be dead weight than plain dead. Rosie, that's enough. We're supposed to be allies here, right? Um, would anyone like some tea? It's not much, but we've got a snack if anyone wants it. Yay! That smells like... bread! Uh, yeah. I just finished baking. I was hoping we could all share it. I was wondering why you got up so early. You're pretty serious about baking, huh? Aw, oh, getting up early to bake bread. Must be nice in the militia with so much free time. God damn it, Raz, shut up. You really are an idiot. Just look at this bread. And if you can't tell by looking, take a bite. Do you know how hard it is to bake on the battlefield with barely any equipment? And it's so good. <sighs> wow, Alicia. You really put your heart into this. <laughs> Well, I checked all the ingredients myself, so believe me, there's plenty of heart. Here, go ahead. Thanks. Come on, everyone. Alicia made this specially for us. Shield and Spear. way to thank you all. You came all this way just for us. So, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Somehow hearing that makes it taste even better. Um, excuse me. Oh, yeah? I'm really sorry to bother you during our break, but... Uh -huh. I've got some questions about modifying our weapons, if you have a moment. <laughs> sure! Happy to help. Ask me anything you want. Wait, so the skirmish at Cloden, that was you? You be General Jaeger? Yep, that was Squad 7. We even hear the stories on the front lines. Kalia would have never lasted this long without the militia. Honestly, it's thanks to you that we can move so far into Imperial territory. I was hoping we'd run into each other someday so I could give you the thanks you deserve. Well, I could say the same thing. Everyone knows about the Galleons in Squad E and hearing about all their victories behind enemy lines. You have no idea how much courage that gives us in the militia. Ah, oh, look at you two. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Largo. Jesus, man. Like, go talk about veggies or something. Go back to veggies. I swear to God, get out of here. We're not all sunshine and roses. I said, pass the goddamn sugar. <laughs> Listen, dark hair, you're lucky to get tea at all. Sugar is a luxury, and we don't have enough for your kind. Oh my god, shut up, Rosie. Why did I have to get stuck with stupid Rosie before she figured out what the hell she was doing with her life? I want good Rosie back. Give me good Rosie. My kind? 
What the hell? We're supposed to be the guests of honor here! I'm sorry. We've been struggling with her prejudice as well. It doesn't help that they both have the personality of a silver-backed weasel. Uh, do they? I don't mind him, Lieutenant. The boss has a thing for plants, animals, bugs, you name it. Oh, it's part of the Mustelidae family. Small, carnivorous mammals, fearless too, even against lions. The Oh, yep. <laughs> Sorry, old habits. No, no, I think I get it. Maybe we're more similar than I thought. Though, I'm more interested in disguise. Oh, great. Get used to one weirdo, and here comes another. Huh? Now what? What's all that noise? Imperial attack, right? Tell me it's an Imperial attack! Welkin, there! <laughs> yep. The enemy! <sighs> Alright, let's go! Prepare to engage! Damn, is he tried. Damn, did he try. He tried to sound fierce there. Let me go back to headquarters real quick. I just want to see if I've got it yet. I doubt it, but I'm going to look. I'm also going back to R&D. Oh, hey. Good God. Good God. I forgot how expensive this shit was. Yeah, I don't want to waste the money yet. I don't think I got anything new anyway yet. But I am going to check the infirmary. I've already got all the orders. Claude, every you're. Yeah. Okay, that's done. Training field. Welcome. Got a bit of experience, <laughs> but not enough for anything of importance. I'm glad I got paragons, but holy shit, man. I think, I think, once I get there. Okay.
No, no, no. The active ones. Okay, so Godwin's still missing his. Rosetta is still missing hers. Godwin, Rosetta, and Nico? Godwin, Rosetta, Nico. Godwin, Rosetta, Nico. Godwin, Rosetta, Nico. And then these two. But I need... Alright, let's get Godwin, Rosetta, Nico done. For sure. Okay. Alright. I know what I need to focus on. Two fronts. I'll explain our mission. God damn it, Walken. Imperial forces have launched a large-scale attack on the surrounding areas of the city. It seems like the units split off from the main group. They're doubling around to engage us on two fronts. While Squad E holds off the main force, we'll take out the detachment protecting the, approaching from the side. We need to drive out any enemies that made it to the city and break their foothold by taking their camps. Squad E will need backup and fast. Once you've taken a camp, head immediately to rendezvous. Oh. So I'm just locked with what I got. Edelweiss, Rosie, Largo. Is that really it? I've just got those four? All right. We need to I don't know how this is going to work, but all right. As quickly as possible. Squad 7, move out. Squad E will hold off the enemy's main force while we take out any soldiers that made it into the city. Squad E's badly outnumbered. We need to finish our fight quickly so we can go help them out. Roger that. Let's show them what we're made of. Those damn imp bastards think they can waltz right in. Let's kick them out of Galia. Please, Squad E. Just hold out until we get there. And dash. It's like a treasure trove of samples. Fire at will. Enemy sight. Incoming. Fire. Ready to go. One more. Alright, Rosie, I think I've got your calling here. I'm on it. No stopping me. I'm probably gonna have to do this a couple of times, because I don't know how fast I'm gonna be able to go. Coming. 
All right, let's leave that alone for now. Give it to me. Nailed it. I see. My turn? Okay. Incoming. They're in range. God, that's an accurate as fuck. He's in the moon. Okay. Watch out. She can fire back, right? Uh. Kind of. Not well. got underpowered equipment. So this is sort of an equalizer in a way. There they are. Watch out. They're on Why? Ah! It can't end like this. Please. Just a little further. I think this difference. is I think this is a fail condition, but we're gonna see. Stay cool. Shit. They're good. We're fed. Don't stop! You've got to break through! 
Good to see Veggie Maniac is still a thing. If only you were more accurate. Come in. I've been waiting here. They've got you in their sight. There we go. I should have expected as much from you. They're in range. Come back on their own. Definitely not A rank material. I think losing Rosie that close in was not a good idea. Like, Largo by far was the worst person to have here. I don't like how this I don't like how this is going. Yep, I gave up. Oh no. Yes. Because I think I want Rosie. God, that's a difficult call. But yeah, I don't want to go up against the turrets over there without a tank. And I want Rosie in there.
Guaranteed you hit one of them. Moving out. God, this is gonna be a tough one. I wanted to make though. Okay, that should do it. Welcome. I'll go back up squad E. Got it. I'm on it. Thanks, Red Eye Dead Eye. I appreciate the follow. It means a lot. I am worried that my main base is going to get taken. I should have probably left the, uh, the wall up, but that was my bad. On, Rosie, shoot back. Good, 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 good. I've been waiting here. No! This position isn't safe. We need to retreat. Cargo done. There we go. Now I just gotta get to squad E. Hope they're holding out okay. I'm on it. Target sighted. Commencing 
Amazing! It's like a treasure trove of samples. Being popular. No wonder you. Target sighted. Target sighted. Don't stop. You've got to break through. Look me in the eye. Uh... They might be so. Okay. You mess with the Good. wrong girl. Good. That should make things a little easier. Hopefully that works. Careful where you point that thing. Hmm, that was a mistake. Yeah, getting a leash out of there was the smarter option for sure. Hopefully this is still an A rank. I don't know how it wouldn't be, but it is one of those things I wonder about. about Alright, so here's the plan. Just a standard scout? Okay, that's cool. Later. Move to support Squatty. E. I don't like how they did that particularly. It's like once I got them all, I should have had everybody move on, not one at a time, and then they just disappear from they just the map. Keep coming. There's way too many of them. At this rate, they're bound to break through eventually. Just a little longer. Everyone, we need to hold out. Squad 7's coming to back us up. We'll be here any moment now. Oh, God. Damn it. I don't need those newbies to back me up. I'm a ranger. You hear me, imps? All enemy camps are captured. All allied infantry fall in action. Things blocked by black. Like I don't know how I would even get those bases. Like I would have to have somebody in here. Advancing. Oh my God. You're not even a tank. I need ammo now. I see. Yeah, they're firing at me. Oh. 
Okay, moving out. I basically just won the game right here by doing this. There, I won. I forgot I had her in this costume, but that's great. Time to put my own grenadier in action. Sorry, fellas. This is not your lucky day. Confirmed. Now advancing. Fine. Don't need a shock trooper on my ass, but thanks anyway. Just take it Didn't nice take and much. easy. Pretty good. Enemy sighted. I am not in the best spot. I'm not going to lie. We can keep going. That tickled. You're not going very far, buddy. Yep. Sorry for the wait. Alicia, you're here. Of course. I'd never leave a friend behind. Come on, let's do this. The cavalry's finally here! Reinforcements! Thanks for showing up! Don't worry about it. Without you guys, we'd never have cornered the ones in the city. Now I figure it's time we return the favor. Let's wake these imps up. Sorry for the holdup. What the? You're kidding! You held off this many enemies with just you guys? I told you, lady, I'm a ranger. Well, not bad for a dark hair, I guess. Now you can kick back and leave the rest to us. <laughs> I hate that face. Like let you I hate her with that face. Ginger. Sorry for the wait. Squad 7 is ready to support. Welcome. Am I glad to see you? Now everyone's here, we're unstoppable. 
This is a fight to protect Galia. Everyone, cooperate with Squad 7 and take out the enemy! Let's end this! Now advancing. Close to this one. Damn. All right, that's fine. Leave it to me. Too easy. Well, I missed. popular target sighted go down you mess with the wrong girl they might be soldiers after all Moving out. Incoming! Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Hmm. This tank's actually got a little bit of a kick. Right there! Not that I mind. They might be soldiers after all. You didn't have wounds to begin with, damn it. Great job! I knew you had it in you. <laughs> One step ahead. Nice job. Keep up the good work. And Calm oh. down. We need suppressive fire now. as well. Interesting choice for the shock trooper, I'm not gonna lie. Interesting choice. One dead scout. One more shot. All allies have been taken out. And 
moving out. The enemy's returning fire. Hey, buddy. Looks like the enemy reinforcements are giving up. They're all retreating. Everyone's okay, right? Whew. Thank goodness. I gotta hand it to you. I'm not used to seeing one squad hold off a force like that. Yeah? Well, you guys don't fight like newbies. I'll be honest, I didn't expect you to keep up with us. That was amazing. We were all so coordinated. Like our squads have been fighting together for years. Tactics based off of every soldier's experience. That battle taught me more than any military training did. I think we learned a lot from you guys, too. I'm really glad we came here. And thank you, Squad 7. Okay, everyone, that's enough chit chat. We'd better get back to base. I'll take it. You know what? I will take the A. I will take that A. Thank you. For Galia. Welcome, soldiers of Squad 7. There was some performance out there. We could never have held off that main force if it wasn't for you protecting the city. Well, we learned a lot ourselves. We finally got to see you rangers in action. It's a shame our training was interrupted, but I think that battle taught us a lot more than exercises did. I'd say we're the ones who learned something. I saw that city after the battle. Honestly, it kind of shocked me. Barely any collateral damage. The roads, the buildings... You never know the war passed through. Oh. Well, of course. We're fighting to protect Galia, not destroy it. If we have to hurt our people, or harm our homeland for a victory, it wouldn't be a victory at all. I... I realize it must sound a little naive to you, after all, a war zone isn't really a place for sympathy. No, I understand. Even if we beat the enemy, it's all pointless if we don't have a home to come back to. So Squad 7 can protect Galia, and Squad E will face the Empire head on. Kind of like that last battle. But I figure it's the same for all of us. We just want this war over and our folks safe, right? Then you can just sit back and relax. I'm invincible, okay? The Empire doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Must be nice being a fearless idiot. No, oh, not a Darkson, just an you idiot. You can be this as time. confident as you want. Just make sure you don't get yourself killed out there, okay? And you really gotta watch what you say, lady, or you might catch some friendly fire. Gotta watch out for guys like you chasing the, the, what was it? The junk in my trunk? Oh, God. What? No, hey, I wasn't... Lady, I wouldn't hit on you if you paid me. Whoa, where'd that come from? I figured you were beyond being self-conscious about your dirty mind. 
You're a lot more feisty than I expected, too. Guess that explains why this guy is such a pushover. Hey, I am not! <laughs> well, they're still arguing, but at least it sounds a little more friendly. Claude, His Excellency wants to speak with you. I'm sorry. Oh, right. Townsend. Ambassador Townsend? Okay, I'll be right there. Couldn't she just give me Princess Cordelia? That's what I really want. Ah, Lieutenant Wallace. Fine work out there. Your swift response does you credit. Your Excellency, I'm just glad I could help. Well, if you wouldn't mind, there's something I'd like to discuss with you in private. Is that all right? Concerning? Let me be candid. There is a certain uh, personal endeavor I would appreciate Squad E's assistance with. Rather than return to the front lines, I would have you head to Rangri's for the sake of a special mission. Rangri's? That's the wrong direction. The mission itself is nothing terribly difficult, but you should know that failure is not an option. <sighs> Rest assured, once we resolve this delicate matter, I will personally ensure you have a bright future in the... I'm sorry, sir, but we have allies waiting for our return to the front lines. If we stay any longer, I'm afraid it may have serious consequences for the operation, and for our allies. I can't endanger them on a promise of future glory, sir. We need tangible victories, ones we can fight for. We need to catch our train, sir. I'll pretend this conversation never happened. I see. That's a shame, Lieutenant Wallace. A terrible shame indeed. Ambassador Townsend, it's been a pleasure. Yep. He's a chuckle fuck. Till next time, which never happens, because the war fucking ends and we never see him again. Okay, looks like everyone's ready. We better get moving. Oh, wait! I've got some souvenirs for Squad E. Bread! Is that more of your homemade bread? I thought I'd never have any again. I just baked it, so it should stay soft for a while. Maybe you could have it for lunch on the train. She'll save it for years. The most important part of baking is passion for your work. Alicia, you're going to be an amazing baker. She when you is. open your bakery, you have to put ads in the papers, okay? I promise I'll find you. Somehow. For the food. Wow. Um, okay. It's a promise. At least Alicia's Alicia. That's the fucking thing. Like, Welkin is just like, fuck off. With the voice, but... If Alicia was also somebody different, I don't know if I could handle it. Um, Riley? Thank you so much for teaching me about your technology. I thought maybe you could find some way to use this, so... Schematics? A blueprint? Is this for a smoke bomb? This is amazing, Isara! Did you come up with this yourself? It's still just a prototype. I can't get enough range on the smoke to make it useful in combat. But it's so close! All you need to do is fine-tune it a little. See, if you modify the exhaust valve's shape... The exhaust valve? Oh, of course! I never would have thought of that! See? Perfect! I'm sure we can make this smoke bomb work. Um... Isara? 
See, they're trying to be... They're trying to be retroactive with Valkyria Chronicles. The problem is, it sort of invalidates Isara's whole technological genius. Just a little bit. But, alright, I'll let it slide. Yes? I, uh... I was just thinking, once the war's over, maybe we could meet up and, um, talk tank designs. Oh, poor Miles. Of course. Careful out there, Mr. Invincible. Miles, no. Get rid of you perv. I don't want to see you sniffing around my doorstep again. You hear me? Again, she's throwing every other insult she can at him. Perv, idiot. Not Darkson though. Or dark hair. <laughs> you can't keep me out. Golly is my home, and I'll be back before you know it. Well, not great at goodbyes. It's time to go. It makes me wish we'd met under different circumstances. I think we would have been good friends. What do you mean? We are good friends. What's that supposed to mean? We are friends, aren't we? Hello, my name is Reaper102388, and I can see the future. Oh, sorry, never mind. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna forget our time together, or Alicia's bread for that matter. She's got some sweet buns. A bread, I mean. <laughs> I won't either. It'd be hard to forget you going back for a fifth helping. <laughs> oh, really? Welcome, and everyone in Squad 7, thank you for sharing your courage with us. We'll protect Galia, we promise. So, Claude, go end this war. I will, I promise. Once this is all over, I'll meet you back in Galia. Yeah. It's a promise. We'll let our wives meet up and chat about technology and bread. Uh, Squad E, it's time to head to the front lines. <sighs> I was just getting to know them. And now we have to head back? I know, but we've got a job to do. Still, it'll be fine. We'll see each other again. You seem like good people, right, Claude? Whoa, Raz is praising another squad? Did you hit your head out there or something? Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Man, I get no respect. For now, I think Ollie is safe with them. But we gotta get back here after all this. All of us. Yeah, we're all coming back, and soon enough, we'll be breaking bread again. What? Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Wilkin Gunther. I've been assigned as a tank driver. Hopefully I don't disappoint you. Alicia Melchiot, proud member of Squad E. I'll do my best out there. Also, not canon. Call me Rosie. And you're picking me, huh? Good call, Hotshot. Name's Largo. I'm a Lancer. Just point me at a tank, and I'll get it out of your way. Gollian? Mags, Lancar, GSR, Edelweiss. Let's go back to headquarters real quick. We've got to make some adjustments. R&D being the first. Oh, hey.
thing's a goddamn expensive piece of shit. Is the Edelweiss just always set as it is? Is that the problem? Okay. The fresh recruits could give our squad a new... I'm sorry. Need a hand? I do have a wife and kid back home. I'll get their tanks. It's not better in any respect. I figured it might be, but it's just not. Emma wouldn't be bad. Okay. I can't do anything with it. It's just set. I hope it has better aim, but I feel like it's not going to. Shots don't increase. Seize the best aim I got.
Okay. I guess that'll do. There. I thought I could do upgrades to it, though. That would be nice. He's so expensive. Done already. All right. I'm also going to take a look at those personnel records. I keep looking at that B and I'm like, what the fuck? So before we go too far, let's save. Sara's Mortar Practice. There we go. Wait a minute. Do we get Isara as a mortar? A mortarer? Wait. So you did all of these tank modifications yourself? That would be amazing. If she enters as a grenadier, I'm going to be fucking excited as hell. When Wilkes went off to university, I wanted to find some way I could help too. I'm actually studying weapon modification now. I was hoping maybe I could use it to help us. I guess that explains why you were asking me so many questions. Well, I am an expert, but only for explosives. Is that okay? Of course. I was just trying to design a weapon that could be used for support fire. In that case, this mortar would be perfect. Huh? Isara, we need to hide. Right. Please tell me this is just a grenadier Curious battlefield. Counts. It doesn't look like they've noticed us yet. It must be a reconnaissance team observing the base. We need to go tell Welks and the others. Isara, wait. You hear something? I think they're at the perfect range. This is the kind of situation mortars are made for. Wait, we're gonna fight them on our own? Experience is the best teacher after all. Come on, let's get them. Oh God, Riley. Again, I like the idea. It's just stupid. <laughs> Uh, all right. Brilliant minds. Brilliant minds, not just minds, not just anything else like that. Brilliant okay, minds. Here's how we're going to do this. Please tell me I get Isara as a grenadier. Looks like the enemy scouts are closing in on us. We we'll use these mortars to take them down. The thing about mortars is even if you're behind a wall, you don't have a line of sight, you can still fire. First, let's capture the enemy's camp and get ready to fight back. I'm good! <laughs> God damn it. Isara's gonna be a mortarer. These mortars are amazing, but you should really see for yourself. Come on, let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please tell me. You don't have to be nervous. Just try your best. Right. I'll try to follow your lead. This retroactive bullshit is hilarious. What do you even have? Fight too. Oh my god. Oh. Enemy spotted. Well, at least she's got the armor for it. Oh yeah, she does. Oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. That should stabilize it. Come on. 
I love this and hate this simultaneously. Perfect. Okay. Now try for that enemy further down the line. That one? Right. So if the point of impact needs to be there, the launching angle should be... God, the idea that she's carrying that huge ass thing on her back is the most awesome and hilarious thing in the world. Here I go. Also, can I just say I love the look of these fucking super mortars I've got? Holy shit. Go Take for it. This! Nailed it. <laughs> oh, I'm having a great deal of fun with this. Oh my god, this is great. Now here's the kicker. Where do I go from here? Leave it to me. I honestly have no clue. We're gonna find out, though. Found you. Killed you. Did I win? I feel like I won. Damn, that range. Can I go through there?
nobody there. It was a guess, though. I guess I'll just end it. Like, I have no idea where they're going to come from. But I don't want to go in there with a mortar. Good. Too easy. Sniper down. doesn't remind you of Welks. They're over there. That should stabilize it. Bam, dude. Just wrecked. Okay, that'll work. That will work. That was amazing, Isara. You did perfectly. I can fight? You are already a tank driver, woman. I got a lot of renown for that one. Legacies of Science. All right, now that's how you use a mortar. That was amazing, Riley. You're a real force on the battlefield. Well, when you hang out with those blockheads, you start building up stamina whether you like it or not. But you've got a real knack for this, too. I can't believe you figured out mortar adjustments on the fly. My father was an incredible engineer. I guess that's where I picked it up from. Your father? So, not General Gunther, then. I guess that means your real dad, huh? Yes. He was the one who designed the General's tank. That's my dream. One day, 
I want to complete the research my father left behind. Actually, that's an interesting question. When she died, she never did complete that research, did she? Or was that the thing she did before she died? I, I have no idea. We'll wow, see. I, we might be the same in a lot of ways. What do you mean? I'm working from my dad's research, too. We've been using it to fight back against the Empire. Uh. Hey, Isara. I know we're fighting different battles, but I think we're fighting for the same things. Our father's legacies, and their wish to protect Galia. And we'll make that wish come true, right? Yes. But I still feel so powerless. I don't have the knowledge, the skills, the stamina. You'll be fine, Isara. I think you're a lot stronger than you realize. Except to sniper bullets. Think about it. How many people could fix up an old tank from the last war? How about when we make a promise? We're both gonna do our best to make our father's wishes come true. Please tell me I get Isara's unit. Yes, I promise. I'll help end this war, and once Galia's peaceful again, I'm going to finish my father's research. I'm going to make his dreams a reality. God damn it. Good. You can't change the past retroactively. It's not how this works. Come on. We should head back. We can just keep this training our little secret. Maybe you can surprise everyone later. Roger. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Isara Gunther. I'll do my best to contribute to the squad. Damn straight you will, girl. Welcome to the squad, damn it! <laughs> it's funny, because Isara's been in a couple of games. Like in Valkyria Chronicles 2, she was a uh, armor tech. And now she's coming back as a grenadier, and that's like fucking the best. Uh. Okay. The fresh recruits could give her. You're damn straight they could. You're damn straight she could. But my projections... Joshua, get the fuck out of here. All you fucks. Not a one of you. Not one of you deserves what Isara is. Not one of you deserves to be on her squad. Riley, maybe. But not any one of you. Joshua, Connor... Fucking Aoife. Get the fuck out of here. Isara, you're in, Understood. girl. Ammo pouch. You know what? Ammo pouch. The aim's nice, but she's not going to be fighting tanks. I won't let her. Six hundred three twenty five. 
at Elias, though. Not one of you deserves to be where your Sar is. Not one of you. God. Okay. There. Oh. The other really bad part is there are more people I'm going to get. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, there's nobody there. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Wait, nobody's here. So next time... We're going to go to a Captainless Squad, Expert Level Skirmishes Following, two Valkyria, and Advanced Ops. And somewhere, I believe it's Advanced Ops, or Advanced Ops, we're going to get a very, very special character that I enjoy. But, uh, let's get a sneak preview. Extra story. A captainless squad. Okay. And luckily, there is at least one member there in that squad that doesn't have everything set to go. So, I can use this to my advantage. But for right now, thank you everybody for watching. This has been Reaper102388. This is Valkyria Chronicles 4, and we got DLC, baby! DLC! DLC! Also, we're going to go back and uh, try to ace some of those missions. Uh, I've looked through the list, and there is a D rank and some C ranks, and quite a few B ranks, but we're going to get them to A ranks. And for those, we're going to definitely use a guide um, just to get them done and over with. We've already seen the mission regularly or how I would normally go about it so having a guide to give me a better idea of what I should be doing or waiting to level up my equipment so I could more easily take on those missions the better so till then everybody thank you for watching if you like what you saw feel free to follow me on twitch follow my youtube channel subscribe like comment and if you want to see more of what I'm doing here, let me know. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep the swimsuits on, my ladies. I think that's a good idea. All right. Bye.